Welcome back, everybody. Right now, legislation that would grant binational same-sex couples the same immigration rights as straight married couples is making its way through the Senate. This proposal would allow same-sex partners to immigrate to the U.S. with proper documentation of their partnership. Our next guest is living in Brazil instead of his native New York because he's barred from moving to the U.S. with his Brazilian partner. And I'm joined now via Skype by Salon.com's Glenn Greenwald, who is in Brazil. Uh, Glenn, it's good to have you on. Uh, you would normally be here at 30 Rock talking to me in studio. So uh, now that you're in Brazil and we can only do this by Skype, explain your decision to move to Brazil. Well, it was a fairly easy decision. I mean, Brazil is the only place where I can live with the person who I want to share my life with, which is my partner. He's a Brazilian national, and the Defense of Marriage Act, which was a law enacted in 1995, bars the federal government from granting any rights to same-sex couples that opposite-sex couples are entitled to, including immigration rights. And so while most nations in the Western world, including Brazil, allow their citizens to have their partner, whether opposite sex or same sex, live with them and work mm -hmm. in the country, of their, of their choice, the United States bars these rights from being issued, and so gay Americans such as myself are barred from living in their own country with their partners. Uh, this bill co-sponsored by Congressman Nadler of New York, also sponsored by more than a dozen Democrats. So how hopeful are you that it's going to pass, uh, especially given the fact that it's a Republican-led House, allowing you the opportunity maybe to move back to New York? Yeah, I'm not hopeful at all. I think it's not just that it's a Republican-controlled House, it's that the Democrats as well have shown very little interest in overturning this law. This was a law that was enacted overwhelmingly by both parties. It was 85 to 14 in the Senate back in 1995. What's promising is that the Obama administration, to the great credit of President Obama in this case, has taken the position that it believes that this law is now unconstitutional and will no longer defend the constitutionality of the Defense of Marriage Act. Federal courts have said that this law is unconstitutional constitutional and with the Justice Department even now refusing to defend this law which usually the Justice Department mm -hmm. does in every case except when it's extreme there's a very good chance that courts will say that the burden imposed on gay Americans is so overwhelmingly irrational and, and extreme that it's unconstitutional under the Equal Protection Clause. Uh, so same-sex marriage legal in seven jurisdictions in the US so if you and your partner flew in from Brazil decided to get married and then you wanted to say stay in this country and wanted to do so legally with your partner, who is now your legally wedded partner, uh, what would be the process of trying to go through that? I mean, would it be just banging your head against a brick wall only to have him deported uh, at any given time? Yeah, I mean, that's what's so amazing is now, as you say, there are multiple states in the United States that legal, where you can get legally married. There are multiple countries around the world where you can be legally married as well. And so it's not just people claiming that they have a spousal-like relationship, but actually are legal spouses in the United States, legally married as much as opposite-sex couples who are being denied by the federal government the same rights. And I'm in a very fortunate position because I happen to have a career where I can work outside the United mm -hmm. States. I happen to have a partner who's from a country that grants uh, immigration rights to same-sex couples for thousands and thousands of gay Americans. They can't live with their partner in the United States. They can't live outside of the United States in those countries either. So they're either forced to live illegally, which is a horrendous situation to be put in, or they're forced to live thousands of miles away and continents away from the person with whom they want to share their life. Regardless of your views on same-sex marriage, to impose these kind of oppressive burdens mm -hmm. on people is completely unjustifiable. Uh, Glenn, we're going to continue to follow Congressman Nadler's bill to see uh, what progress it makes. But well, we appreciate you coming on and sharing your personal story. Uh, Salon.com's Glenn Greenwald. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you.